What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Spining Fatty, and I'm here with a awesome video. Maybe? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to recap some of the stats of what I thought was cool at UGC Niagara. So uh, I gave you my picks last time. We'll go over those. Actually, let's do it right now. The first pick I had was Enable. Enable's a stud. Uh, over the weekend, he placed 12th in KD at 1.18. And he, like, his during respawn games, he averaged about 24.17. And that was over 10 maps. Uh, 24.17 kills, that is. It was in Blitz that he kind of disappointed me. Enable. Why? Why would you do this? No. He was, ended up being 68th. He only had one cap over two maps. And, uh, yeah, so that wasn't great. But in Domination, he came back. He ended up being about 43rd, middle of the pack. Not too bad, not too great. But he had a 1.24 KD in Domination, 13 caps over four maps, which is an average of 3.25. So, yeah, that was that. And then in S&D, he ended up coming in 48th with a .87 KD over four games. So he needs to step up his S&D a little bit, but other oh, overall, you know, pretty decent showing. Proofy was next. He ended up 30th in KD with a 1.0, and he averaged about 22.25 during res or kills during respawn game types. Uh, and he played 12 maps. So he ended up 40th in Blitz with um, seven caps over four maps. He also got um, a 1KD in Domination, 12 caps over four maps, which is an average of three for those of you that are math illiterate. And uh, that rank was 51st. But where Proofy shined was Search and Destroy. He was eighth. He had a KD of 1.41 over those four maps. So GG's Proofy. Miyagi was next. Now Miyagi... He did something really awesome in one of the games. We'll go get into that right here. Um, he was 28th in KD with a 1.01. He averaged about 20 uh, during those respawn games, 20 kills. And that was over five maps. Only played five maps. One of those maps happened to be Blitz, where he had a 1.11 KD and uh, nine caps. Which actually was first in average. So if the Fantasy League was going off of average, it would have been awesome to pick up Miyagi because he averaged nine. Now overall caps, you know, that, that's not too great. That's not horrible, but it was pretty good. Over Domination, he was 53rd with a 1.11 KD, six caps uh, over two maps. And then he ended up being what was the let's see he played two maps in s and d and if you guys don't know i, I wrote all this stuff down because i can write it um <laughs> he ended up being 42nd with a 0.92 over two maps so not great you know i i expect great things out of miyagi when it comes to s and d he's kind of let me down a little bit uh, attach didn't do too horrible he was 43rd in his KD with a .96, he averaged 21.33 kills in respawn games over five maps. Uh, five maps total, that is. He plays 74th in Blitz. He did not have a cap, but he held that one KD. Now, that that hurts your team. and also hurts your fantasy team. Attach, you got to pick that up. Because if you're on my fantasy team, you better be getting those caps. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, it's not like the fantasy is playing right now. I'm just pretending it is, so I'm way into it. Okay? Anyways, Domination Attach averaged 1.11 KD, six caps over two maps. Which So he was ranked 53rd right there, right next to Miyagi. Now, some of the standouts that I saw were, were just kind of crazy. Um... My boy Cosmo, he uh, he actually had a really great stat line. He would have been a great pickup. His kill death was 7th at 1.24. He 
his, and that was over four maps. He only played four maps, um, which, which was awesome. He had, he was 39th in Blitz. Not great, but he had two caps and 1.33 KD, and that was in one game. Domination, he had a 1.11 KD, 10 caps over two games, so five a cap, or five a game, and he was ranked ninth. And it looks like he was ranked first in search and destroy uh, kill death ratio at 2.2, but that was only in one map. So kind of hard to uh, judge his figures off of how little he played, but his average stats were amazing. So GG's Mr. Cosmo. The, the number one player, though, that, that I think was number one over the whole thing, and you know, just looking at his stats were just... Everything was good. You know, every, everything was good. That was Mr. Aches from complete, I mean, Evil Geniuses. <laughs> if you guys don't know, check out the other video, the one before this, talks about that. But Aches, Mr. Mr. Uh, Price, he ranked eighth in kill death ratio over 25 maps. This is crazy. At a 1.21, his blitz caps were 12th at 22 caps over seven maps. And he had a 1.16 KD in, in Blitz. His domination was his lowest stat, but it was still pretty good. He ranked 45th with a one point, I think that's 1.6, and 29 caps averaging 3.22 a game. And Search and Destroy, he ranked 7th at a 1.42 KD over nine maps. So I'm saying over the longevity, like they played some of the most games, 25 games. I think there was only Envious that played 26 games, I believe. But, uh, you know, he held the best stats. And, you know, his buddy Crimbot right up there, If he, you know, he might be just a tad better all around. Crim, Mr. Crim 6, averaged fifth. In kill death ratio with a 1.25, and he averaged about 27 kills in those respawn games. Um, five maps total, or sorry, 25 maps total. Going into Blitz, he ranked 29th. Uh, he had 14 caps, averaging two a game, so he had seven games, and he had a 1.46 kill death ratio. That's crazy. Thinking about Blitz, that's that's really high. In Domination, he averaged about 1.1 KD, 34 caps, which is just about 4 per game, 3.78, because they played 9 maps. So he was 32nd in that category. And he ended up being 11th in Search and Destroy, Kill Death, with a 1.33 over those 9 maps. So Krimbot and Eggs, I mean, no wonder... Complexity. I mean, evil geniuses win so much. Um, the, the 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 combination of those two is just insane. Then you add TP in there. I, I don't have his stats right up here right now, but actually, like I can I can tell you a few of his. Let's see. You gotta do that Control F thing. T. All right. One thing I want to talk about is this is CODstats.us. So you can go to CODesports.tv and have access to all these stats like I do. TP averaged 0.98 KD, and you gotta think that's over 25 maps. Um, his, let's see, his blitz caps were about 2.8 a game, he had 20, and he was 40, let's see, he ranked 44th, he averaged about 21 kills a game in those respawn games. Um, 1.11 uh, KD in or not in search and domination, and he averaged about four caps per game, and then 0.94 in search and destroy. So you know you add those guys up there. Karma stats were even better than his. Um, complexity, just all around great team. Another person who did rather decently. I mean his KD is not going to show it. But, man, his blitz caps were up there, especially he played three maps. Also, his domination was up there. That's Sharp. 
Sharp ended up being 40th in KD. He had a .97. He averaged about 22.29 uh, kills in respawn games. And that's over 10 maps, that .97. What kills me, though, is Blitz. He ended up being second in Blitz. And that was to Miyagi. He only played one map, but um, Sharp played three maps. And he ended up with 21 caps. Um, so that's seven per game. And the KD was 1.36. So it was pretty much right under what 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 Crimbot was doing, what Mr. Crim6 was doing. Uh, but for some reason, you know, he really slacked in the three games that he played in SND. He only had a 0.55. Um, KD, so he can step that up and just be an awesome player. His KD during Dom was 0.85. He had 17 caps at an average of 4.25, so it's right up there over those four maps. He ended up being 26th. So, now I didn't see any of this. I don't know what happened to TK, but I expect more out of Mr. Sharp. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Another standout was J-Cap. He ended up being 13th in KD at 1.18, he averaged about 24.67 kills per respawn game. And he played nine maps total. His blitz was really good, ninth in blitz. He ended up with seven caps over two maps, and so that's three and a half. And his KD was 1.31. In domination, his KD was 1.19. He ended up being 29th with 16 caps, averaging about four caps per map. And his search was 36. He ended up 0.95 over three maps. So he could step it up in his search category, but J-Cap, you know, definitely a solid, solid player. And we all knew that going in. Another solid player that doesn't get enough recognition, I don't think, is, is Dito. Now, Dito just tore it up. Over 17 maps, he averaged 1.29 kills per death, uh, which is... Higher than anybody I wrote down. I think he's he ended up being third, third to Mochila, who is a stud in his own. That dude's a slayer and flawless. Flawless only played three maps. And Mochila played ten, so flawless ended up being one point three four. Or sorry, flawless was one point three one. Mochila was was one point three four. Dito coming in at third, so he was just going nuts there, going nuts up in Canada. In Blitz, this is where he lacked. I mean, he was 65th, played four maps, got two caps. But that, that's the, you know, that's the role of a slayer, right? You just get out there and slay. You don't worry about capping. I'm surprised he even, even had two caps. But when you get down into domination, he ended up being 49th with a 1.28 KD, 21 caps over seven maps. So that's three. And then what really shocked me, honestly, was his search and destroy score. He ended up third with a 1.84 KD over six maps. That's just insane. So as far as, you, you know, when, you, when you're doing fantasy, I, I talked in the first video that you want like an, a, kind of an all-around player. But if you wanted to, say, pick a Dito and a Sharp, or a Dito and a Miyagi where you know somebody's going to go in on, on Blitz and you know somebody's going to go grab those caps, but they might not be the best KD-wise, that's when you want to pick up a, a big KD person. So there's always different strategies going into fantasy, and luckily nobody's playing it right now. I mean, I wish we were, but uh, if we were, I'd kind of be a little screwed. But, yeah, we'll see. I'm excited for it to come out. There was a lot of other players that did good. Ricky... He did well. Um, you know, Goonjar had probably the best respawn average in killing. He and John. Goonjar was 29.71 in respawn games. Uh, John averaged 27.9 in respawn games. That's, I mean, big games. When you're dropping almost a 30 bomb every game, you come into respawn, you're going to win a lot. Uh, but... Thing two, another person who did well over the, his eight maps, he averaged 1.27 coming in fourth, right in front of Mr. Krim6. So there was a lot of good, good players, a lot of diamonds 
in the rough out here. But either way, it was fun, and I love looking at these stats. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. You know, what, what do you think of these players? Who, in your mind, stood out? I'll go ahead and link this page. That way you can, you know, check it out yourself. Let me know what you think. As for that, I'm done. Go ahead and like, favorite, and subscribe. We'll see you later.